Good morning. Today's vlog is brought to you by Bali Hash House Harriers 2. Not to be confused with Bali Hash House Harriers. Um, Bali Hash House Harriers 2 is uh, basically like a breakoff group. Um, Bali Hash House Harriers got pretty big and so there's a second group that started um, that conduct their own hashes. So what is hashing? Hashing is uh, drinkers with a running problem. It's basically what it runs comes down to. Um, hashing has been around since the 60s. Um, around the world, it originated in this part of the world, uh, Malaysia, Singapore area. And it's, um, I, haven't, I don't know for sure, but it's probably in the majority of countries around the world um, somewhere. Um, I know it's on every continent. Um, a lot of the people I've talked to about hashing, um, whenever they travel, they can always find a hashing group to hang out with and have some fun. So when I was looking to stay in shape while we're on this trip, um, I have a few friends back in Edmonton that have uh, been hashing for a long, long, long time. Um, it wasn't something that I had ever gotten into just because I had different focuses. Um, but this summer I did start hashing with the Edmonton Hash House Harriers and got up to a few runs with, uh, with that group before we started the trip this year. Um, so when I was investigating where we were going, um, it's pretty easy to find groups uh, all around the world at the major cities that we're going to be in. Um, the problem with Bali is that it's a big island and uh, because it's a Bali Hash House Harriers group, it's not an Abood group. Um, their workouts are all around the island. So the one that I went to last week was about 35 minute drive from Abood. Um, I was able to hop a ride um, with a very lovely um, expat Aussie couple, um, 69er and Ringtail, also known as Graham and N. Um, I posted in their Facebook group and was able to just kind of say who I was, what I was doing, and that I was looking for a ride to the hash um, a few days ago. Um, so I ended up having to run two and a half kilometers just to meet them, um, but that's easy considering um, what they were helping me with, and they didn't want to come into town because of traffic congestion, so no big deal. So basically you go and run. There's um, a bit of an entrance fee um, and depending on who you are, whether you're local, whether you're brand new or a virgin, um, if you're traveling uh, from another hash group, um, the fees are a little bit different um, and I'm starting to notice that the fees are a little bit different depending where you are in the world. Um, so the fee for me was 120,000 um, Indonesian rupees, which is about $10 Canadian. Um, and for that, um, we get the lead run, and then afterwards they had uh, kegs of Bing Tang beer, uh, bottles of pop, um, and it was basically just uh, have a few drinks and enjoy yourself. Um, so the run is always set by a hare um, who goes through and marks the course ahead of time. Um, here in Bali they used um, shredded paper, crumpled up paper, um, so that you're always able to find out where you're going. Um, there's different different symbols that they put on the ground to show where you're going um, and really the only rule is that uh, arrows never lie. Anything else could be um, a wrong trail or trying to trip you up. Um, basically it's a bunch of people running through the forest and in this case rice fields um, trying to make sure they're on the right path. Nobody cares how fast you are um, which is one of the reasons I like it because I've done enough of that over the last 15 years. Um, but yeah, nobody cares how fast you are because you could be the fastest person out there and if you take a wrong turn or you get stopped at um, a wrong trail, then you have to double back to the last checkpoint and you're at the back of the pack anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Everybody's just out there to have fun, um, which I did. So it was um, a really fun group to be a part of. Um, I've been watching the Bali Hash House Harriers too. Facebook group as well as the Bali Hash House 
Harrier's Facebook group just to kind of see where their upcoming runs are and hopefully I can get out to a couple more um, in the next three and a half weeks or so while we're still here. So um, yeah, there's going to be a blog post coming on it uh, with lots of pictures, so check that out. We're in some amazingly beautiful parts of Bali. Um, so I actually went back and did part of the run again so that I could take some pictures because I didn't have my phone with me. Um, I took it with me for the second half of the run just because it happened to come back to the starting point. And uh, with about two kilometers left, I almost lost my phone in the mud of a rice paddy. Um, the rice paddy paths are very narrow um, and not always flat. Um, and I ended up putting my left foot into a paddy and then falling flat on my face on the main trail and putting my left hand into my into the rice paddy which uh, was lucky because my phone was in my right hand because I didn't have any pockets in my shorts um, but that's fine then we there was a creek crossing right after that and I got to clean up a little bit and slip and slide all over a bunch of rocks and the local women who were hanging out in the creek uh, got a good laugh so it's fun so yeah, look for that blog post, look for the pictures, and uh, whenever you're traveling, if you're a runner, uh, check out the Hash House Harriers. It's always a good time, they're always off color. Um, everybody, once you're an established member, um, or you do something stupid or funny, um, you will be given a hasher name, um, which I referred to earlier with the, the couple that picked me up. Um, their names were 69er and Ringtail. Um, there's always a story behind them. So if you ever meet a hasher, uh, ask their hash name and see what the story is and how they got it. Sounds good. Bye. Hello. David, how are you? Oh, not. This is Bali Hash House Harriers 2. It's an offshoot from the original main tribe group. Nice enough to hop a ride with uh, a couple hashers. Everybody's been very welcoming, and it's gorgeous back here. Uh, there you go, thumbs up. That's for you, Paul. So I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going. I almost got lost here. We're gonna go down here. Fun times. Oh, no. Shredded paper here to mark the trail for where they're going. A little different than the chalk we use back home, but just as effective. Just as easy to see. There's a couple cows randomly. You don't see those on Edmonton hash screw runs. And you don't see this either. Super pretty. I actually had to stop. I had about a couple kilometers into the run. We got back to the parking lot and I met up with one of the people that drove me and they were nice enough to open their car so I could grab my phone. trail here somewhere. We know there is. Just gotta find it. Todd would be impressed. Some fun stuff here. Plus they got coconuts. Oh. And they might have better views.
more video. Just because it's so darn pretty. I see the terraces all over the place. I just spent like the last couple kilometers running through Rags Paddies. Not much space in between them, but there's uh, definitely room for a trail. I feel like we might have made a turn to go start heading back. But I'll have to wait and see. I'm just waiting for me to be paying too much attention to this video and have me fall in the canal. I'll lose all my phone data for the whole trip. But we'll see. Let's make it fun here. Finally getting some trails in. Didn't know if that was gonna happen, but leave it to the hashers to make it happen. How does that look? Pretty. There's just like these huts everywhere. All over the place. Not the fun trails that go with them. Now this is worth it. Oh, stairs. No one said anything about stairs. Giant double high concrete stairs. In the middle of the jungle. And they got Oh, uh, why not do some more? Bali Hash House Harriers 2. No idea where we are. But there's other people around. So it can't be that far off trail. <laughs> 